Minister, thank you. Egor Margot Lasker here, look. Minister, I, I hadn't intended to speak on this bill. Uh, I'd like to welcome you to the House. And there are two or three things that are reasonably good in this. For many years, I've listened to people outside talking about us living in a bubble in here, totally removed from real society. I have to ask, Minister, how many people sitting around the cabinet table, indeed, how many people in this house have ever experienced real poverty in their lives? I mean, where you couldn't put a slice of bread on the table. I remember one time in my own life having three beetroots and a sliced pan for dinner for myself, my wife, and my two kids. I cannot begin to express the anger I feel at throwing out 200 euros to every electricity account in Ireland. Holiday homes, the rich, people like myself who are on a good income and don't need it and I won't take it. And I'm not saying that from a pop populist point of view. I'm saying it from the point of view that I meet people who are struggling to live. I speak frequently in this house about members of the Defence Forces and how tough they get it to live. 200 euros would make a huge amount of difference to these people. I appreciate the effort here was to get the payment out into the public quickly. Well, what will we do next month if oil prices hit $150 a barrel by the end of the month? How are we going to meet the demand or the cost increase as that goes on? How are we going to look after that? This is borrowed money we're, we're using. So it is borrowed money to make sure that people who can well afford to pay their ESB bill get 200 euros out of the exchequer. There were metri metrics that you could have used to ensure that it went to targeted people. We could have sent it to the working family payment, those who are on working family payment, uh, and not sent it to every citizen in the country. There are good things in here, but there are things that are difficult to understand. The 20% reduction in public transport. What about those who cannot avail of public transport, where there is not a public transport facility close enough to them to avail of it? It's good to see the caps on, on, on the uh, school transport. I'm delighted to see that. It's good to see the um, drug payment scheme. But I cannot get away from the 200 euros. I walk around South Dublin, where I live, and I look at houses, some of which cost seven and eight million euros, and I look at them and I know they're getting 200 euros off their ESB bill. And I ask myself, how can any of us in this house justify that? It's totally and utterly unacceptable. It is the most crude measure that you could have used. So it is. And again, I will ask you, how are we going to pay for this? How are we going to continue to support people who find themselves in energy crisis as energy costs go through the roof? And the way things are at the moment on the geopolitical stage, we could find ourselves in a situation, realistically, where oil prices will hit $150 a barrel by the end of this month. Gas supplies will be reduced right around Europe. One of my colleagues mentioned their landlords. There are a number of landlords who rent out properties and control every aspect of that property. They're going to get 200 euros. I appreciate what you're trying to do. I just think that the methodology that's been used here is totally and utterly wrong. And when it comes to committee stage, I will bring back an amendment to this that we take out the 200 euros. I know that people out there watching this today are going to turn around and say, to hell with him, I want my 200 euros. We'd all take 200 euros if it was thrown at us. So we would. But at the end of the day, I don't believe that this is the way to go forward. And I think we in this house are capable of much better service to the, to the public than something as crude as this. I regret I won't be here to hear your reply because I have another meeting to go to, but I will read your reply. And I'm happy to meet you at any stage, Minister, and discuss this with you. I know you're a decent guy. I just think this is all wrong. You're being badly advised here. Thank you.